This is not what you think. As the airplane's wings generate lift, circular patterns of rotating air are left behind, known as wingtip vortices. These vortices can remain in the air for up to three minutes and several miles, which poses a great threat to other aircraft, especially smaller ones. The size of the vortices is a function of the size of the aircraft and its speed. In the late 1970s, NASA was concerned about the growing number of air traffic and conducted a series of experiments. During a test with a Boeing 747, a Cessna T-37 chase plane experienced violent wake turbulence at a distance of up to 10 miles. When wing spoilers were employed, the distance shrunk to just 3 miles. Presently, winglets and slender wing designs are employed to reduce wingtip vortices. However, they are still very dangerous in the region behind an aircraft in the takeoff and landing phases of the flight. For this reason, air traffic controllers ensure adequate separation between departing and arriving aircraft and make sure that when landing after another airplane, the second aircraft stays above the earlier one's flight path and lands further down along the runway.